Sanatorium affects massage parlors, nude model studios, rap parlors, adult bookstores, adult theaters, adult motels, and cabarets. And you can find any or all of the aforementioned downtown and at other spots in the city. But you won't be finding any new adult attractions because the moratorium forbids them for six months. The city seems inclined to make that a permanent situation and possibly create a zoning ordinance restricting adult entertainment to certain areas of town. While they weren't talking in front of our cameras, adult entertainment people said today that they didn't expect the moratorium to either help or hinder business. Some see the moratorium as unconstitutional, others say they are still considering it, and at least one said it's political, that anti-porno campaigns are waged every time a city election is near. Most owners feel that zoning restrictions can be beaten in court, and the prevailing opinion is that once elections are over with, the heat will be off adult entertainment. While it may restrict new competition, the adult entertainment people don't expect the moratorium to affect business one way or another. They do say that publicity over regulations like moratoriums does tend to help business out. Doug McAllister, News 8, downtown.